Hello there, welcome to movies. I'd like to talk to you about a, a movie called 13 Lives, directed by Ron Howard. This movie is based on the true story of the Tam Luang cave rescue from 2018. This movie is about 12 boys from a young Thai soccer team and their coach who go caving. During the time they're there, there is a monsoon. All the sinkholes in the mountain above let water seep into the caves. And the boys all get trapped. There are 12 very young boys, plus the coach is only about 25 himself. The movie stars Viggo Mortensen as Richard Stanton and Colin Farrell as John Philanthon who are cave diver experts. Also includes Joel Edgerton, who also is a cave diver, playing the part of Richard Harris, not that Richard Harris, and he has a specialist skill which they need, of which I won't spoil. So the boys are trapped in the cave. The Navy SEALs Thai Navy SEALs have been diving in the cave to try and find the boys, can't find them. Along comes Mortensen and Farrell, expert cave divers. They go in looking. They manage to find the boys. This is the ninth day the boys have been trapped in the cave. So they've had no food, low on oxygen, and the CO2 levels are getting higher. Luckily for them, the coach has taught them how to meditate, which has calmed them down and made them a little bit more relaxed rather than panicking at being trapped. This is probably one of the things that kept them alive during that time, because although they were found on the ninth day, they weren't actually saved until I think it was something like the 17th day. It was a considerable amount of time. When they were found, they were four kilometers into the cave system. And as the cave had also flooded, the dive was extremely low visibility, very, very tight spaces. Some, some spaces are tight, so they had to take off their tanks and carry them through the holes, through the gaps. It has a very claustrophobic feel to it. The sound is very claustrophobic too. A very low visibility, very tense. Even though you know the ending, possibly, because it's a, a reasonably well-known story. One of the problems they have when they find the boys is how the hell do they get them out? They're about four kilometers in They've got no diving experience. The dive apparently is about five to six hours. So they come up with a plan using the specialist skill that Joel Edgerton has. It sounds, it doesn't sound feasible, but the fact is this is a true story and this is what happened. It's a film about hope and the human spirit, everybody trying to help to get these boys out. The plan they come up with is put to the governor who agrees to go along with it even though they're not expecting to get everybody out. It's a very tense film, has you on the edge of your seat even though you probably know the end. It's, um, it hasn't had the best reviews, I think, possibly because everyone watched The Rescue, which was a documentary a couple of years ago, and that was very good. But a documentary and a cinematic release are two completely different genres and should be taken on their own. This is a well-made film. 
the tight spaces come over extremely well during the movie and you do get that really claustrophobic feel of what it would be like to be stuck it's a very interesting view it's worth watching even though the water was being pumped out and the sinkholes were being blocked in the mountain above there was still too much water and it was a very specialist maneuver to actually save these boys worth a watch definitely worth a watch it's not going to win any oscars but a very heartwarming story where everybody comes together no matter what country they're they're from to try to find a way to rescue these poor young boys if you've seen it tell me below what you think tell me if you like it tell me what you think of our reviews are we rubbish we're trying to get better thanks for watching please like and subscribe hopefully we'll get better and I'll catch you next time